Hey guys, well, no discussion about serial killers in 15th century Europe would be complete without mentioning Tomas de Tocamada, um, known as the killer monk, the black legend who led the Spanish Inquisition in the 15th century. It actually, it began in the year 1478. Now, Torquemada had been the childhood confessor of Queen Elizabeth, so, I'm sorry, Queen Isabella, so um, he was pretty much allowed to do just whatever he wanted to do. Uh, Pope Sixtus IV tried to stop the Inquisition, and King Ferdinand threatened to withdraw uh, the Spanish troops that were protecting Rome at that time, and the Turks were a great threat to Rome, so the Pope wavered and allowed them to continue, and then later he instituted a papal bull saying that monarchs had complete control over inquisitors and the Inquisition in their countries, um, and Torquemada had complete pull with uh, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella at one point when they went against him uh, because the Jews had offered them a very large sum of money in order to be uh, safe in that country. Torquemada stormed into the throne room and threw 30 pieces of silver at them and said, um, the Jews had sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, and if they wanted to do it also, there, there was their 30 pieces of silver. So, needless to say, the Alhambra Doctrine, uh, Torquemada was definitely a big supporter of that, and in the year 1492, which is the same year Columbus landed on the shores of America, in the year 1492, all of the Jews were expelled from Spain, which actually, that was probably better for them because between the years 1478 and 1492, Torquemada put so many of them to death by so many heinous methods, um, there is no accurate count of it. Uh, many of them were burned alive. And if he felt particularly generous, uh, he would burn them with green wood so that they would choke to death on the smoke before they actually burned. And sometimes he would be generous enough to strangle them before he set them on fire. And that was only one of the methods. And even if you escaped that and you weren't burnt, an effigy of you was burnt in your place. So, I mean, he would not be denied seeing them in the fire. And heretics also. Anyone who did not agree with what the Roman Catholic Church was teaching was automatically a heretic, and they were burned. And they would um, interrogate people... Uh, until they would confess to some little, you know, sin, so that thinking that they would be released. Uh, this is the same kind of interrogation tactics that exist today. The odd thing that too many people don't realize about the Inquisitions and the Roman Catholic Church in general, the Inquisition actually started all the way back in the 13th century uh, with the Cathars in France. But the Spanish Inquisition pretty much overshadowed it. Now, Spain originally was an Islamic country. Uh, and then it was later when the Inquisition came about, there were Muslims, Jews, and Christians. Well, the Christians at that time were all Roman Catholic uh, in Spain. And um, they would do things like eat pork in particular because that was a badge of honor because you were Christian and that was 
you know, the cream of the crop in their eyes then. The Nazis took their ideas from the Spanish Inquisition because the entire point of it was racially pure. They wanted pure blood. You were not allowed to marry a Jewish person or anyone of any other religion because you would pollute the blood. And so, just like the Nazis would do by trying to extinguish the Jews, the Inquisition did it first. Um, okay. I'm trying to... Anyway, they were trying to unite Spain under one religion. Um, so they wanted the Muslims and the Jews gone. And that was the entire point. Now, uh, Thomas Torquemada was a Dominican monk. Uh, he wasn't even actually a priest or a cardinal or a bishop or anything. He was a monk. But he was a monk that had the ear of the queen. And by having the ear of the queen, he had the ear of the king. So he was allowed to just torture people until they died or until they wanted to die. And he actually had a 15-year-old girl stripped and whipped until she agreed to testify against her own mother. And then her mother was burnt at the stake for heresy. In other words, not believing every little thing that the Roman Catholic Church says. That was enough to get you burnt at the stake under Torquemada. So, like I said, no um, presentation on 15th century Europe serial killers uh, would ever be complete without uh, mentioning him. He was a very nasty guy. Um, his thing was, he was basically the original Nazi. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys don't forget to like and subscribe, and y'all have a good night.